Hey, it's Keith here with Fishing Buddies. I'm going to take a couple minutes to show you how to set up a Moro rig. I'm going to start with what would be the tag end of my leader coming from my fly line. The first thing I'm going to do is take a bead and I'm going to slide the tag end through the bead. And I'm going to pull out about oh about 10 inches or so of the tag end and repeat back through the bead one more time. Then I'll pull that through and I should end up with something that looks like this. I'll have a loop and about 8 inches of tag left over. The next step is to take the tag end that you've created and take it back through the loop that was made. And you want to do this about five or six times. Once you've got about five wraps, you're going to hold on to the line coming from your fly line and you're going to pull on the tag end and you should end up with something that looks about like that. You can use your fingernails to slide the knot to the bead but that's what you should end up with there. And you need to be careful and you need to remember to leave enough tag here to tie your hook into. Once you've got your bead tied in, the last thing you need to do is tie in a hook. We like to use uh, a curved shank hook like this. This is a size 12 2x strength egg shaped hook. Uh, you could also use a, um, a caddis or a scud hook, uh, but sometimes it's nice to use the egg hooks because they're a little bit heavier. They're harder for a fish to straighten out. And you'll tie this in just as you would tie in any other fly. And what you want to do is you want to leave about three or four inches between the bead and the hook. Pull that down like that, just as you would tie a fly in. You'll want to clip your tag, and that's what you're going to end up with as your final rig. One thing we like to do is we like to fish two offerings in tandem. And to do that, it's really simple. All I'm going to do is take, uh, take about a 15-inch piece of leader. Sometimes it's nice to step down a size from what my my top offering would be. So if I snag on the bottom with the bottom hook and I snap my line to free it, I'll only lose one of my offerings instead of possibly both if these were of the same leader. To do to set up a tandem rig, all I'm going to do is tie a hook knot, but I'll replace the hook eye with my finger. To leave a to leave a loop in the in the line once I've finished the knot, I'll pull it rel relatively tight, snug but not not totally tightened, and I'll take that loop with the hook knot tied into it, and I'll slide it right over the eye of the hook like that, and I'll pull it tight. So then what you have is you have your top offering down to your scud hook or your egg hook with your line tied to the bend of that hook. Now that will allow me to tie an additional offering into this piece of line. And I'll do that the same way that I tied in the top one. Here are some different rigs you can make with, with beads. Uh, here's one with, where you give the fish two offerings side by side and then you tie one hook in below. 
this might work well because it might come down through the water column looking like an egg cluster and it allows you to put two different colors or two different sizes of beads close together to offer them to the same fish. And here is a, a basic tandem rig that you would see us fish with quite a bit. Um, just with one bead on the top tied into a hook, tied into an additional piece of leader with a different color bead below and a hook tied below that. That's probably the most common thing that we'll fish with. As a general rule of thumb, you'll want to start with a leader length that's about one and a half times the depth of the water that you plan to fish. So if you fish in uh, four feet of water, you'll probably want to fish about a six foot leader from strike indicator to your offering. The buddies all use the same indicator. This is, a, I guess, a newer model or a newer uh, product that's out now. It's called the thingamabobber. And we've tried everything and we found this to be far superior to all of the other indicators on the market. It's your call if you have something that you prefer. Continue to use it. If you don't, maybe try these out. We like these a lot. We hope you enjoy fishing with Moro and we hope this video helped you out. Uh, please put all your fish back.